Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and hello to some new subscribers there. I've seen you creeping in. I don't know whether you've come over from my Instagram. Um, some of my reels have been going absolutely wild lately and my Instagram followers have shot up so I wondered if you'd kind of come over from there. But hello if you are new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, now is your chance to hit that subscribe button if you are liking my videos. Also, hello to any of you um, oldies out there and um, thanks for coming back each time and watching. Really, really appreciate it. So today we have a spring trends video and I say this with a pinch of salt. I feel like I say this all the time, but I do say this with a pinch of salt because as you know, if you've followed me for a while, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I'm not really about trends. And I just posted a reel last night all about timeless style tips. And in that, I basically said, don't follow trends. So that is why I'm kind of saying it with a pinch of salt because this video is for people who love classics like me, love basics, but like to give their wardrobe a little bit of a freshen up each season with some slightly trend-led pieces, but also things that I know you can get so much wear out of and you'll be able to wear time and time again and style in lots of different ways. In fact, throughout the video in these cutaways, you'll actually see me mixing and matching a lot of the pieces. So I'm talking about one trend, but you'll probably see another trend pop up in there. So they're really wearable things and these are trends for the non-trend people. So um, let's get into it. So I have 11 trends for you and the first one is the quilted coat or quilted jacket. Now this is a huge one at the moment as is side trend, um, things like a puff sleeve gilet, it kind of falls into the same camp. But the quilted coat is something, it's basically the spring sister to the padded puffer coat that we all loved this winter. Um, so the quilted coat, I'm wearing one here from Charlotte and Tess, this lovely light coloured khaki one. Um, and it's just so easy to wear, as I say, it's like a puffer jacket in that it just kind of goes with everything, you can throw it on. It's a nice warm layer, but not too heavy. And oftentimes they come a little bit oversized. I also have an Arquette more camely shade one. And again, like I say, you can fit lots of layers underneath. Um, so when it comes warmer weather, you can just wear it with a t-shirt or tank top underneath or um, if it's kind of for now and going into the warmer season, then style it with a jumper, some layers. Um, so there are lots of ways you can wear this and I think a quilted coat to me is a really, really wearable trend, especially here in the UK where in spring, let's face it, it's not that warm. So number two are the slouchy jeans. Now we really saw this coming into its own last year and they are here to stay. So if you did invest in some last year, then don't worry, they are back. Um, so I've got this pair on here that I featured in my latest haul, and these are from Stradivarius, 25.99, so really, really affordable, and just fit the bill perfectly. I love everything about these jeans, where they fall at the leg, how they sit, I'm actually wearing them now, they're so comfortable to sit down in. I went down, I had initially bought a size eight and they were way too big. So I've gone down to a size six, which is the equivalent of a 34, I think. Um, so I'm in a size six now and they still have plenty of room. So definitely size down if you are going to get these jeans. Um, but the slouchy jeans can be worn so many ways and I want to show in this video ways that you can wear these, not just to chat about the trends, but actually show me wearing them. The first way is very casual. These jeans lend themselves to casual outfits. So I've got them with these trainers and this white padded shoulder jumper, also from Charlotte and Tess. Just a really nice, easy, casual look. However, you can dress these jeans right up. I think they're going to look so nice. On a summer's day, you're going to sit outside at a nice bar. You want it to be kind of casual if it's daytime or if you're going to somebody's house for a nice barbecue, then these will look really nice dressed up with some heels and wearing them here with some Aloha heels and then just a simple tank top. You'd also pop a blazer over the top of that as well just to give it a bit of extra something. But these slouchy jeans, I know I'm going to wear so much 
And I think if you are going to put a little bit of money into a trend like this, then it's a wise idea to kind of buy it now at the very, very start of the season. So this will last you right, right through. And then these will be perfect for going into next autumn as winter as well. You know, jeans are evergreen. You can wear them all year long. So the next trend is something that you don't necessarily have to buy, but it's the oversized trend. So you can combine some of your more oversized pieces together. Now the key to this, and I'm going to show you in the cutaways, but make sure you tweak the style a bit so that it is more flattering. Um, one of the ways I would do that is by rolling up the sleeves on whatever you're wearing. So if you've got an oversized blazer, for example, with some oversized trousers like the slouchy jeans, then make sure you roll up the sleeves because it just gives you that extra definition of the body and is much more flattering than you having all the fabric showing. And then two more little tips. I've got a trench coat on in the next outfit with some slouchy black jeans and two tips from this, all very slouchy in the outfit, but one thing I've done is made sure the ankle is exposed. Again, just by exposing that little bit of skin or perhaps tightness of material just juxtaposes that really oversized style and is much more flattering. And another thing you can do is cinch the waist in with a belt. Again, just to create a bit of proportion, but still um, give a nod to that trend. So my next one is blue shirts. I love a blue shirt. Um, I feel like they're an all time classic. So if you invest in it this season, you will never ever fall out of love with it. I have a few from years ago, still in my wardrobe, that I get out again year after year. They're so classic, so chic, so timeless, but also a bit of a trend this year. So um, get your hands on one now whilst you can. I'm styling one here from Pixie Market that you may have seen me wear in previous videos. I've been wearing that a lot lately. So this is a real trend I know you can get wear out of. Looks great layered up as well. So you can style it up with some heels um, and really go all out. You can make this shirt very, very fancy. You could wear it even to the beach with a bikini um, and just some shorts on. You could really make the shirt your own and use it for every occasion and also just wear it casually. So I'm wearing it here with some leather trousers and some trainers but there are so many ways you can wear this shirt um, I'm sure I don't need to tell you but it's definitely worth investing in now. Tip number five are cargo trousers again an all-time classic but definitely going to be big this year I love cargo trousers they're so comfortable which to me is always a winner I always talk about you need to be comfortable in your outfits in order for you to feel confident in that outfit so cargo trousers are just an absolute winner again a bit like the shirt you can really dress this up and down so you can just wear it like i'm doing here just with some gucci loafers i've popped on um, a plain white t-shirt and a leather jacket which i'm going to come to later but just really casually or you could pop some heels with this again you can really make them your own and they're just a nice alternative for when we're transitioning out of the loungewear stage which i think i'm kind of getting ready to do now um cargo trousers are just kind of the next step towards normality. Number six is what some magazines are calling um, new neutrals and essentially it's just head to toe styling of neutrals. You'll know this is nothing new to me and I have been doing this year upon year for all the amount of time you've followed me. I've probably been doing this and you'll notice I do it in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, in the autumn. I even did, well, I started kind of video trend a couple of years ago where I do it each season, but it's kind of styling neutrals for spring, styling neutrals for summer. And if you go back through my channel, you'll be able to see these. But new neutrals is basically wearing head to toe neutral colors. And that can be like tonal colors. Maybe you can go slightly khaki, but you can definitely mix and match your tones don't think that you have to wear all the exact same tone because it's not about that. It's all about mixing and matching your neutrals and that will enable you to get more out of your wardrobe and maybe experiment with things that you perhaps wouldn't have put together and um, give them a go and yeah, see what happens. So another trend for this year that I have been wearing quite a lot of lately actually, um, I think they've kind of started coming in a bit more last year, but it's the wide leg trousers. This could be jeans if you prefer 
jeans or some smarter style trousers. I'm uh, showing here some black wide leg trousers from Cezanne. Again, you can wear these dressed up or casual. I personally prefer them to kind of um, contrast them with something more casual because by nature, wide leg trousers are more smart and dressy. So I like to contrast that with some comfortable trainers, a t-shirt, jumper, just something really casual, leather jacket, something like that. So loads of ways you can wear the wide leg trousers and they are definitely going to be um, a big trend. Again, it's kind of on the same lines of the slouchy jeans and the oversized trend. It's all kind of the bigger the better. And another thing that actually fits into this is the puff sleeve trend. Now, the puff sleeve actually has been around at least for two, previous seasons, especially in the spring and summer. And this year it's not going anywhere. I think as we emerge out of lockdown and hopefully we return to normality, um, people will want to get dressed up. And I think we will see a shift in fashion from very, very casual loungewear that we're wearing at the minute to something a bit more dressy like puff sleeves. I think people will want to dress out go the extra mile and pussies really lend itself to that trend. And again, like I said, they've been in for a couple of years now, so I feel like they might stick around for some time. And it's nice, you could just, if you didn't want to invest too much, loads of kind of puff sleeve t-shirts, you could dip your toe into the trend. I'm wearing a puff sleeve jumper that I got from H&M in the winter now. I'll see if I can find something similar, but there will be loads of puff sleeves on the high street. And I think for evening, just with some simple trousers. Keep your outfit really simple. You could wear some jeans with it, some simple trousers, a satin midi skirt, and then just by adding that puff sleeve, it really transforms the outfit. I actually got a puff sleeve t-shirt from Zara a few years ago, and I've worn it so much. It's just a plain black puff sleeve t-shirt, and I would highly recommend having something like that because it just jazzes up all your simple pieces. So next we have the split hem trousers. These, if you're a regular follower, you'll know um, I've been talking about quite a bit lately. So I got a really good pair from ASOS. I think they're called the Hourglass something, something. Um, I'll of course link them below, but they are so useful. I know quite a few of you have also been buying them as well. They're so flattering. I've mentioned this before, but I sometimes find split hem leggings a little bit unflattering on me, unless I'm wearing something more oversized like a blazer like this. This by the way is from Naked Fashion. So yeah, I think if you are going for a split hem, maybe make it a bit more of a trouser. Personally, I just feel like they're more flattering, but you may feel otherwise on your body shape. So I've got these ones from ASOS, which are a bit more of a trouser, and I also have a uh, leather trouser version from Naked Fashion. I don't think these are around anymore, but I know Karen Millen have some really similar. I actually just featured a beige pair in a Karen Millen reel that I've done. Um, so yeah, a nice beige pair actually is quite good and a bit different, but I think the black is a classic that you can wear day to day and really easy to throw on. Basically, just an alternative and a fresh update to your classic black cigarette trousers. They fit exactly that bill, but just have a tiny bit of something extra. Look great with trainers, look great with heels, look great with loafers. So yeah, really, really love the split hem trend. I think this is number nine now, I've kind of lost track, but this is khaki. Um, so khaki, you'll have seen me on my Instagram really getting into the color khaki, and it's just an offshoot for me of all my neutrals and a nice, um, introduction to a bit of colour but not too much. Um, so khaki is a big trend now you could wear head to toe khaki kind of like I'm doing in this cutaway here. I've got my khaki coat on from Zara. These um, cargo trousers again cargo trousers going back to that. These ones are from me and M. Um, my trainers are from a brand called Prevu but I don't think they're available anymore but I think Zara might have some similar to this. But I'll try and find similar if I can. And then my Chloe bag. Again, just keep it tonal, keep it all khaki. It's a bit like the new neutrals trend. Just wear head to toe, one color is great. But also if you just want an accent piece of khaki, like a pair of trousers or a coat, then you could do that. If you feel like you don't really suit the color that much, then I advise um, maybe wearing it on the bottom half, some trainers or some trousers, something like that. Okay, the last one was definitely number 10, and now this one is number 11. And my final trend, so this is the oversized 
leather jacket. Now I'm kind of wearing one here, but this is more the leather blazer. I'm talking about the biker jacket here, but either or, they're both still in fashion. That leather jacket trend is here to stay. I got this biker jacket, I think two summers ago now, an oversized one and I've worn it so much through spring and summer. It's just a great one to throw on to give an edge to your outfit. I think some outfits can feel a little bit twee in summer and a little bit maybe if you're wearing florals or something light and summery you want to kind of toughen it up with something and the biker jacket is a really good way to do that in the cutaway i've just popped it with my cargo trousers but it really does go with everything um i'll see if i can find an oversized one um i think i've seen a few around as i say it's a bit of a trend so usually you can spot these things quite often and i'll try and link some below um but yeah it's a really wearable trend as are they all, and definitely one that I think will be here to stay. As I say, I got mine two years ago and I've been wearing it ever since. So this will be my third summer wearing my oversized biker jacket. So thank you so much for watching this wearable trends video. I really do believe that all of the things that I've mentioned are really wearable, really versatile, aren't too in your face, and are things that you could probably invest in and really will stick around. For example, a blue shirt, the cargo trousers, a leather jacket, all of those things are timeless, but will definitely be big this season. And if you just want to freshen up your wardrobe, freshen up your classics, you could maybe inject one or two of these in. And by no means am I saying go out and buy all of these pieces. Maybe pick your favorites, just pick a couple um, and then see what it does to your wardrobe and how you can mix and match that in with your existing pieces. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, let me know your favorite trend below um, and also if you're going to be purchasing any of these trends. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one, bye.